Alright guys, how, how's it going? It's Mr. Extra here. I got another deck profile for you. I took some time off from doing my YouTube stuff because I've been dealing with COVID and whatnot. But anyways, let's get down to it. What I got for you today, I have a Dogmatica Shadal Invoked deck. Ready to demonstrate and show you what I got for you, you know? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off with the invocation, or well, the invoke package, so we're going to go with three Alistair invoker, let me find my other one, since he is the easiest start extender here, because Alistair is pretty broken. Search invo searches invocation can be used from hand as well for his quick effect. He's like the main key to make this work, so we'll do um, Alistair the Invoker, and then I run two invocations, and then I also run three Magical Meltdown, which this right here is your entire invoked package side for this deck anyways. Invocation pretty much guarantees you're going to get a fusion out one way or the other, whether you're using your hand, field, graveyard, your opponent's graveyard. Magical Meltdown searches out Alistair the Invoker, which he kind of starts the whole thing off. And um, it also protects and pretty much guarantees you your, your fusion monster is going to get out. So we'll get those out of the way. Next we'll, uh, we'll elaborate the uh, Dogmatica portion for this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There is a Knighted, a Punishment, Ecclesia. I do run Maximus, but uh, lately Maximus has been kind of bricking. So, two of the Knighted for the time being. I run two Ecclesia too, I'm just looking for her. Another Ecclesia as well, and one Dogmatica Punishment, and I usually keep a spare in my side deck. And then let's not forget like one of the most priciest cards in this deck. I run a uh, two Nadir Servant as well. Um, Ecclesia brings herself out of oh, special monsters from extra deck that your opponent has or you have. The Knight does pretty much the same thing. Ecclesia is going to let you search for Dogmatic of Punishment, for example, or the Knight or um, Maximus, which I actually think I'm running one in here, but I could be wrong. I don't think I am right now. I think he got sided because, like I said, he breaks most of the time. Maximus is a little situational, in my opinion. Might take him out altogether just to get another Ecclesia, and I'll probably I'm I'm probably just gonna stick to the two the dear servants unless I'm feeling frisky and I want to pick up another one before the price goes up because uh, the dear servants like I'm a thirty dollar card, dude. It's it's getting up there. It's getting up there indeed. Okay, so that is the dogmatic aside for this, as far as I'm aware, and yeah, <laughs> dogmatic aside. My first uh, deck that I'm using where I run triple archetypes. It's a little weird, but I mean, it works. It does work. I do like the deck. And we're going to go with the Shadal package for this. So we got a Beast, a Wendy, Shadal Fusion, another Wendy, a Squag, a Hedgehog to search out Shadal Fusion, or Schism, a Dragon, because Dragon is awesome. Let's see. Another Shadow Fusion. I should have one more in here. If not, I got one sided. Yep, I got one sided, so it's two Shadow Fusion. One Beast for draw power. One Squad Mana for destruction. One Hedgehog to search out Fusion. Huh, I forgot Schism. Huh. Um, dragon to deal with certain situational stuff. Wendy to get it all going. And then. Use Hatchout to search out Schism, Schism to fuse, and to pop stuff on the field. Very, very simple. I promise I'd make this video really quickly because I am still sick. But it has been a couple weeks since I put out content, so I figured why not, you know. And then we have the rest of the deck. The rest of the deck is going to be miscellaneous stuff. 
we have three joyous. Which is a nice tasty hand trap. We have three Emperor. For some more tastiness. We got three Veilers. Two. Completely and utterly forgot because this just came in the mail today. I am running one Fallen of Albaz for um, Fallen of Albaz purposes. Mainly to use him as a, a cheap super poly and then I can search off him with Ash Dragon. And the rest, the rest after this, is fairly simple. We have two super prowlies, and I got one sided in case I um, go against someone who's got a lot of targets, and then I'll, I'll do all three. A foolish, to send Wendy. A dark ruler, which I should play a play set, but I mean, three dark rulers lately, I feel like that would break. It happened to my buddy, though. Terraforming search for a magical meltdown and duster because it's duster. So we're gonna go into the extra deck and then we're gonna go to the side deck. And then I just gotta make sure to really, really shuffle. Alright, extra deck is going to be a uh, gonna be two Mechaba for a walking omni negate. And Augustus. Run two of this guy because this guy's been very useful. Just because he can beef himself up, and then you just cycle into the field real quick, and then pop one of your opponent's monsters, and then get rid of him real fast. Uh, one Purgatrio for just overall girth and beef. One Caliga. He's optional choice. Caliga just to uh, waste time, make them have to get around him. <coughs> and one Raiden for Raiden purposes and Walking Book of Moon. And we run two construct for construct reasons. Al Capone for negate and you know, being able to survive from being hit by battle. One Star Venom for a fusion target. One Ash Dragon for an Adir Servant target aside from Construct. Just to get it going. One Winda. Just because you can skiz in the window real quick and then one better day. Not bad, not bad. And we're gonna go to the side deck, which I changed the side deck. I've, I've had this deck for a little bit now. I wanted to test play it really. Get my hands involved on it before I uh, went any further than this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do side deck. We have a Dogmatic of Punishment, we got a Maximus. A knighted. A bow goddess, just in case we need the extra negate. Two Lancia. Dimensional barrier. Outlets, just for standalone. A poly. A Nibiru. I would run three nibs in this deck too, but I don't want three, so this will do for the time being. A uh, dust kaiju. A Shadal Fusion, Imperial Order, and there can only be one, and a second one uh, if I see myself getting a chance of getting two out in the same duel. And that's all I really got for you. Like, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed, you know. I'll try to get more content out there as soon as I can. This deck's been a fun deck to do, and it's a very fun deck to play. Mainly, Invocation's broken. But if they were going to do something about it, they would have by now. But there it is. Okay.